the issue of rape, domestic violence, sexual assault, which happens within the African American community, is an issue that we need to bring out of the closet. We have to raise the issues. We have to address it in our own communities. It has to be something that comes from within our own struggles. When I met the boy that was to be my rapist, I was 12. And I was innocent, and I was a virgin, and I knew very little about sex. When we got to the dorm room, he said, can I come in? Well, at first I hesitated, but then I thought, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sure it would be all right. I mean, you know, he was one of our heroes. Oh, God, what is he going to do to this knife? do with this knife? Is he going to stab me? Is he going to stab my son? Is he going to insert this knife in my vagina or what? I was crying, and I had been, like, you know, struggling with him. And he was just yelling in my face, calling me all these names. There was a part of me that said, no, no, he's not going to take that from you. He is not going to make you respond to something you don't want. Why are we silent about one of the most barbaric, intensely painful, ultimately destructive acts that any community can endure? And I would argue because people want to reserve the right to do it. That's why. I think that there's a lot of belief that women don't have a right to say no under certain sets of circumstances. They don't have a right to say no if it's late at night and you're in a, in a man's room. They don't have a right to say no if a, if a man has become sexually aroused. They don't have a right to say no if they have indicated earlier on that they might be interested. So there are all kinds of, of uh, assumptions that we make about a woman's right to, to, to say no. A man can go out with a woman can spend all his money, can, can indeed uh, be, she can promise to give it to him. They can go to a room, house, apartment, hotel, whatever, and take a shower together and start playing around together and start actually doing it. She never loses her right to say no, even in the act. You know, uh, Du Bois said uh, to be poor is a hardship. But to be poor in the land of dollars is the bottom of hardships. And to be poor and black and female in, in America is about the bottom of all that. Because we are so irrelevant, um, that's why we can be raped. Because it, what difference does it make? It's only some black woman, you see. <laughs>